But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our sixth bout on the card. It is set for three three-minute rounds of MMA action in the lightweight division. Introducing first, making his way to the cage and fighting out of the short line, Buick and GMC red corner. Please welcome Ethan Evans. Mr. Evans, our first in the 155 pound division for this lightweight fight. Making his way to the cage here at Sparta, Wyoming six. Wyoming has been the home for Sparta Sports and Entertainment. Uh, during the pandemic, it had opened up quicker than Colorado. We'll be back here May 1st. 16 fights on tap May 1st. And then we have AV coming up, AVM coming up shortly after that, JR, which is usually about 20 fights on that card. Man, what a great year it's going to be for Sparta. Missed it last year with everything going on and uh, not, not having AVM. So really excited to get back and get see the military folks that we see each and every year. Let's make up for lost time. Yes, indeed. The sixth fight sponsored by Arapahoe Kia, 9701 East Arapahoe Road in Centennial. www.coloradokia.com. Ethan Evans at 155. A little bit of ECDC. Trials MMA representative is Mr. Evans. Rolling through this card, and we've had some great action so far. And the highlight will be a pro main event tonight against. Gino Shevdov, who won an amateur title. This is his pro debut going up against Dylan King. We saw lose his pro debut against Aaron Dondo, a great fighter out of Genesis. And those guys have a lot to live up to. Uh, Elevation, check that. <laughs> headlining this card, because man, this undercard has been spectacular already. Yeah, it's been nonstop action. I've seen the guy, you have to have the waitress come to you because nobody wants to miss <laughs> the action. There's no going to the bar. And his opponent fighting. Out of Fowler, Chevrolet Blue Corner, please welcome Isaiah Diggs. So there you have it, Ethan Evans and Isaiah Diggs. 155 pound MMA action. We will be MMA the rest of the way after having one kickboxing and one boxing match. The rest of the way is MMA. Isaiah, here's our tale of the tape. Evans, the younger fighter by four years, as Diggs is 24 versus 20. Quite a bit taller as Evans, a 5'10 versus 5'5. They, of course, both made the 155 pound limit. Debut for both fighters, and it's a boxing wrestler versus, and this is interesting, the wrestler listed as Diggs, but he's wearing Muay Thai trunks. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was looking at that. Also, we have the North versus South part of Colorado. Fort Collins and Pueblo. There we go. Little bragging rights up in the air. <laughs> Next time we'll meet in Denver for the fight. Always interesting to see debut fighters. We had a card full. We had a card full the last time out. Ladies and gentlemen, this lightweight MMA bout is brought to you by Arapahoe Kia. Let's meet our fighters first. Fighting out of the short line, Buick and GMC Red Corner from Fort Collins, Colorado, representing Trials MMA, Ethan Evans! And his opponent, fighting out of the Fowler Chevrolet Blue Corner from Pueblo, Colorado, representing Ultimate Performance, Isaiah! Diggs. No relation to Tay Diggs. <laughs> I don't think. Gentlemen, you've had your final instructions. Oh, baby. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Fighter, any questions? Fighter, any questions? Set them up back to your corners, please. Diggs in the red, Evans in the camo. 155 pound MMA action. Diggs put together, man. He is a thick boy. All right, Oscar Martinez waiting for that cage door to be locked. 
Unleash the beasts. Tap them and go, boys. Couple overhand rights combinations. Diggs goes for the takedown. He's got that single leg, but able to fight it off. Well, Diggs listed himself as a wrestler. Wastes no time trying to show off those skills. First time he was denied, came right back in and got it. Rubber Watch guard out for that arm bar. by Evans. Throwing up the flexible legs very quickly. Diggs on top, looking for a way to start inflicting some damage, and he does so. Evans looking for some payback. Diggs again with the takedown. Wow, Evans tried to thwart that, but Diggs just drove his way through. You talked about the powerful build of Diggs. He put it on display there. Evans very active off of his back, immediately trying to grab that wrist and slide his leg through to set up a triangle, but Diggs wise to it. Yeah, Diggs' his go to is definitely the wrestling, and we've seen it now on the third takedown. Able to get it right back away when he backed away from it. But Evans, no slouch off of his back, staying busy, doing a lot of the right things, not really taking much in the way of damage, and definitely threatening with some submissions of his own and making Diggs stay very honest up there. Yeah, Looking it looks for the armbar was Evans. Looks comfortable for sure on the ground and able to battle back. Diggs looking out here, side control, and Evans trying to back, back up to his legs, able to roll through there. Yeah, Evans tried for a sit-through reversal there, wasn't able to get it. Diggs just really, really fast and then super heavy with his hips. Yeah, a lot of scrambling going on here by both, and Diggs doing a great job getting repositioned as Evans had tried scrambling out of there. And Evans, good work getting himself off of his back. Not allowing himself to be stationary, not resting, not conceding any position. Keeps coming back up in a nice uppercut, lands for Evans. Diggs coming forward, Eggs coming with the overhand right. Evans is a strong kid as well, and you see him get out of trouble. As heavy as Diggs was, and then you see the reach advantage there by Evans. Diggs has a really nice cover, keeps those hands up really high. Good shield with his forearms. Gets in on you quick. Diggs trying to get that free arm and go with that uppercut. Had partial one. Tries to raise that knee up to go to the solar plexus. Evans gets cuffed across the ear on the separation. Nice job by Diggs. Striking on the separation, something every coach wants you to do. Evans able to get down low. Diggs with quick hands. Yeah, Diggs with the combination. Well, it doesn't take much with those four ounce gloves. Diggs had some nice oh, shots there. Slip there. Evans went to go with the push kick and just it was like his foot hit a wall and he ended up slipping down and Diggs working the hands until the bell. Yeah, nice left hand by Diggs at the end and it actually knocked the mouthpiece out of Evans. That was right up to the bell. You really saw Diggs work that wrestling action early and then started coming back with those hands late in the round. Showing a well-rounded skill set is Diggs. Pretty good for a couple debut fighters. I was going to say a couple of debut fighters looking pretty composed at the end of their first round of competition. Well done, gentlemen. And again, you're one fighter from Trials MMA. It goes to the quality of gyms that are in this area and their ability to train with guys that have been in the cage. It's like they're ready to go. Yes, indeed. Barely breathing his dicks. <laughs> Well, if you're going to represent a gym called Ultimate Performance, you ought to be in shape, and certainly this gentleman is. All right, let's see if Diggs goes back to the well and goes for the shoot immediately like he did in round one. Evans trying to use his reach right here and staying on the outside, JR, with those, with those long arms, and then going low. And that's an adjustment he needed to make. He was allowing Diggs into Diggs' own range in round number one. Again, and then there's Diggs with those fast hands up close and personal. And Evans goes for the takedown and pays for it. Evans tries rolling that, and they're unable to do so. And Diggs gets back on top with that heavy pressure and heavy hips. Diggs' ability to stay heavy 
as well as float on top. Allow his opponent to change positions, but not gain an advantage, and then settle right back into control. It's really impressive. And Evans had the opportunity to stay at that arm's length reach, but when you got somebody coming in on you so powerful, it's tough to do. And digs with the flurry and ends with the body shot. Evans is strong. I got to give it to him, man. He's a strong kid and able to endure. That he is. And both fighters with good knee strikes. Now Evans goes to work with the combination. Dig says, enough of that, young man. Right when Full mount. Evans got away with that second strike, he backed off a little bit, and it was like lightning. Diggs jumped on him. Evans just covering up now. I think he might be hurt. Diggs able to go to work. Evans starting to turn away. Yeah, he's not Diggs protecting picking himself his targets. very well. We're close to the end, that's and that's it. it. Congratulations to the Pueblo fighter. Goes home with the victory. I tell you what, that turned on a dime, too. You saw Evans start to get some momentum going, JR. And as you said, your verbiage was enough of that. <laughs> and Diggs in the cage getting jiggy with it. Dance full floor. <laughs> That was another great fight. I mean, and listen, winners obviously got to be happy. Evans for a debut fight. Got some good minutes in there, JR. Did that some good did. things. A lot to learn from that fight by Mr. Evans. I think we're going to see good things out of that young man. But man, the wrestling skills of Diggs on display this evening. Oscar Martinez bringing the fighters to the saddle. We'll get the official time of the stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Oscar Martinez calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute 33 seconds of the second round. Declaring your winner by TKO, Isaiah Diggs. Fight. Good fight there. Isaiah Diggs comes up with it. And every time you saw maybe tables start to turn a little bit, he really gained momentum back quickly, JR. Yeah, congratulations to the ultimate performance, Jim. You got a long drive home, but it's going to be nice to have that victory. Ladies and belt. gentlemen, I'm joined in the ring by our victor, Mr. Isaiah Diggs, first and foremost. Congratulations. How does this win feel? Uh, I want to say first, uh, thank you to God first or anything. And then uh, it feels good, you know, to just finally get in here. It's been a while. We've been training for months and haven't been able to fight a fight to finally get one and see where I'm at. Now, your pressure was relentless. You did not stop the entire fight. Were you, did you come into this fight knowing that you wanted to push the pace? Yes, sir, that's what we train. Uh, at the end of the day, our heart, we're wrestlers, and wrestlers, we push the pace, and I'm gonna stay in your face all the time. That's what my cousin teaches me, James, all of them at the gym. Anything you wanted to say to your fans, families, supporters? I just wanna tell uh, Ultimate Performance, thank you, James, thank you. My cousin Terrence, for sure, thank you for training me. My trainer, my cousin's Boo Boo. Uh, Mike, Mike, and uh, Pineapple, all the people that came to see me, you know, and I just want to tell my family back home in Federway, yes, sir, let's go, baby. Nine, eight, zero, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your winner, Mr. Isaiah Diggs.